by the Constitution to Alaskans. And I don't think we can cut forever. We can talk about cutting. Um, but at some point, we have to realize that we need to um, make our government as efficient as possible without overcapitalizing it. I think what you see up there is what we expect to walk out with this year, and that is an adequately capitalized government with growing reserves. Um, and uh, I think asking for any more out of this economy today is... Um, Reckless. So I, one last thing that I think is very important, this committee is focused on um, perpetual dividends. Without a change in this plan, dividends are at risk by 26 of existing at all. I want you to look at the permanent fund box, the second one down that you can see on the screen. Status quo, we've got about by 2026, there's a $10 billion difference in the corpus of this fund. Why is that important? Because my vision is someday that the corpus of the fund and a POMB draw adequately capitalizes the operation of this government in perpetuity without ever hitting Alaskans or the broad-based tax. Very doable. It can happen, and it will happen if we remain conservative on how we manage our um, resources and savings going forward. So I'm excited about this plan, and uh, I certainly hope that we can uh, get together at the conference table and have um, others recognize the value of the way that we put it out of this body and passed it across the floor. And with that, I want to thank you for bringing folks together today, Madam Chair. I hope it clarifies that the Senate plan is, in fact, a complete fiscal plan. and. Uh, We'll see if others have other questions, I guess. Senator Bishop. Thank you, Madam Chair. And Mr. Teal and staff, I appreciate your guys' comments today. Just one closing comment for me today is, is now that we're <clears throat> on a pathway on diversification and, 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 and protecting our earnings reserve and, and uh, providing for uh, uh, a continued draw payment going to the to the to people of Alaska with a permanent fund dividend I would assume and I hate using that word that hopefully if this becomes law our credit rating is going to go back up from the Wall Street investment firm banking houses thank you Senator Bishop Mr. Teal Mr. Carpenter Mr. Painter thank you for joining Senate Finance today thank you Again, uh, we're all in this together. Uh, this is a bicameral legislature with a strong uh, executive branch. Uh, the Senate's plan does work. Uh, there are policy choices in all of the decisions that we make. And the probability of success depends on both the House, the Senate, and the administration reaching some kind of an agreement that actually can support the cornerstone of what uh, most believe is necessary to pull Alaska uh, out of a recession and stabilize uh, our revenue streams. I'll state it one last time, we have to have a responsible budget. The Senate is asking the House to reconsider a spending limit. We need an appropriation limit inside of a structure to guarantee, as Senator Von Imhoff stated, belts and suspenders on the proposal. And we need to continue to re uh, restructure some of the largest cost drivers we have. And I look to Senator Hughes for educational reform considerations as we move forward. We all value the great teachers that we have, the students that are achieving in classrooms, principals and superintendents who are working hard, districts who are succeeding. With all of that success, there are still groups of Alaskans that are not receiving the same benefit of our investment. And we are trying to advance with the administration structural reform to the K through 12 system. 
If we can achieve a spending limit and a responsible budget, the Senate is willing to consider use of the earnings reserve to create a durable structure for Alaska. and ensure long-term dividends for all Alaskans. With that, we're getting ready to stand in recess. This afternoon, we'll be hearing from <clears throat> invited public testimony on HB 111, oil and gas production tax payments and credits. The legislation contains the elimination of cashable credits in the state of Alaska and is a conversation that was requested by the other body as well as the administration. The Senate continues to work to eliminate the cash calls that these credits are presenting and try to hold an industry who is struggling uh, to keep them investing in the state of Alaska so that we can improve production. With that, we're in recess until 1.30 this afternoon. <clears throat>